NASA's Voyager 1's terrifying discoveries and 45 years in space. Voyager 1 is a space probe that left Earth in September 1977. It has traveled approximately 23.5 billion kilometers or 14.6 billion miles from Earth and is still going. But despite that astounding distance, NASA engineers have recently repaired the craft and discovered a new mystery. Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today, we will be taking a look at NASA's Voyager 1's horrifying discoveries. Make sure to stick till the end of this video as we have a lot to cover. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video, it helps us a long way. And let's dive in. In the end, NASA decided to develop two spacecraft to make the most of that once in a lifetime chance. Within 15 days of one another in the summer of 1977, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, which were identical in every way, were launched. They have been in orbit for 45 years and are still operating, relaying data back to Earth every day from the solar system's farthest known planets. They have lasted longer than any previous spacecraft in history while covering a greater distance. According to our best understanding of the borderline between the Sun's sphere of influence and the rest of the galaxy, they have entered interstellar space. They are the first equipment created by humans to do so, and they will continue to hold this distinction for at least a few more decades. Overall, not a bad record, given that the Voyager missions were initially only intended to last four years. NASA's Voyager 1 is traveling into outer space on a perilous and uncertain voyage. It and its sibling, Voyager 2, have traveled beyond the limits of the solar system and into the interstellar medium, placing them approximately 14.6 billion miles from Earth. Anything can go wrong when things are so far away. Additionally, keep in mind that the Voyagers were launched in the 1970s, making them old probes. Therefore, NASA engineers would have been understood for calling it a day and pouring one out for possibly the greatest successful space mission of all time when Voyager 1 started to send home some strange, jumbled nonsense instead of telemetry data in May of this year. NASA, however, operates differently. Instead, they got to work on a remote diagnosis and repair for the space probe that set the record. They have triumphed almost four months later. Once again online, Voyager 1 is in flawless communication with ground control as if nothing ever happened. In actuality, the remedy was very straightforward, or at least as straightforward as anything could be given a 22-hour communications lag each way and billions of miles of distance between them. So, what actually happened to Voyager 1? The 45-year-old spacecraft, which was cruising in interstellar space, seemed to be doing surprisingly well and was sending mountains of data back to Earth. The Attitude Articulation and Control System, or AACS, on board Voyager 1 is in charge of maintaining the spacecraft's high-gain antenna pointing at Earth. However, starting in mid-May, it began transmitting misleading data instead of the spacecraft's typical health and status updates. From our vantage point, it seemed as if the spacecraft had developed a disease, like an electronic aphasia, which is a disorder that results in the loss of fluent speech. According to NASA's statement from the time, the data may seem to be arbitrarily generated or do not reflect any probable state the AACS could be in. Engineers were even more perplexed by the fact that Voyager 1 seemed to be in fine shape, despite the spacecraft's strange status updates. The ship's radio signal remained strong and constant, indicating that the antenna was still oriented at Earth and not in the position that the AACS had claimed in its reports to NASA. Similar to how the AACS continued to function normally, without any of the same strangeness, Voyager 1's science systems continued collecting and transmitting data as usual. Furthermore, the fault protection system intended to put the spacecraft in safe mode when there was a glitch did not trip due to whatever was wrong with the AACS. Thank goodness NASA engineers found the issue. With a diagnosis, they may also apply a treatment. It was discovered that the AACS had begun transmitting its telemetry data via an onboard computer that had long since failed. All the data sent out was tainted by the decreased machine. All NASA engineers had to do was instruct the AACS to relay its data home using the appropriate computer. Finding out exactly why the AACS switched systems in the first place will be the next difficult task. According to NASA, the system most likely took a bad command from another onboard computer. The true offender will need to be located and addressed in order to stop further weirdness, even though they claim that it is not now a serious concern for Voyager 1's betterment. Voyager 1 is currently farther away from Earth than 23.4 billion kilometers and continuing, for the most part. 
On the NASA website, we can examine the current space positions of both Voyager spacecraft, as well as the expanding separation between them. Voyager 1's been traveling into interstellar space, outside the magnetic field of our Sun, for the past 10 years. Similar to how Earth's magnetic field provides some protection from high-energy particles and radiation from the Sun, the field had provided the craft with some shielding from cosmic rays and other interstellar radiation. Since cosmic rays are known to interfere with electronics on Earth, it is reasonable to expect that Voyager 1's onboard computers will experience similar problems. For example, when one of those high-speed energetic particles strikes a computer chip, it can result in minor memory errors that accumulate over time. In a statement from May, Suzanne Dodd, the project manager for Voyager 1 and 2, said, A puzzle like this is sort of par for the course at this level of the Voyager mission. The spacecraft are about 45 years old on average, which is much older than the mission planners had planned. Additionally, we are in interstellar space, which is a highly radioactive environment that has never been explored by a spacecraft. We'll have to wait and see what fresh threats and discoveries Voyager encounters next on its journey. Remarkable Discoveries Planetary scientists still heavily rely on the original photographs captured by the wide-angle and narrow-angle cameras on board Voyager, and their discoveries are the stuff of mythology. The globes identified volcanoes on the moon Io of Jupiter, established that the gas giant's great red spot is an Earth-sized storm, and determined that the gas giant has weak rings. They observed Saturn's rings, Titan's massive moon's thick atmosphere like that of Earth, and Enceladus, a tiny moon with a geologically active surface. Then Voyager 2 on its own traveled to Uranus and Neptune. The first ever photographs taken by the spacecraft of Uranus showed its black rings, skewed magnetic field, and its geologically active moon Miranda. While this was happening, it was also found that Neptune had much more moons and rings than previously imagined. We also got to observe Triton, which, like Pluto, is now thought to be a captured dwarf planet from the Kuiper Belt. Triton is a geologically active moon that orbits backward. The Voyager mission not only produced groundbreaking findings, but also assisted researchers in deciding which areas need further investigation. NASA launched the Galileo mission in 1989 and the Juno mission in 2011, both in response to the mission's revelation that Jupiter is an immensely complicated planet. Work done by the Voyager probes also served as an inspiration for the renowned Cassini mission to Saturn. According to Lu-9, Voyager 1's near flyby of Titan served as the impetus for the fantastic Cassini mission to Saturn and its Huygens probe. In 2005, the Huygens probe touched down on Titan's surface and returned with an amazing video. And that ends today's episode. Hey, we hope you enjoyed our video. Please make sure you subscribe and leave a comment down below your own thoughts. And don't forget to like and share today's video with your friends and family and other space fans. And we also would like to ask you to please press that bell icon too. That way you will always be notified of our latest updates and uploads to our channel. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us today. And we'll have another great video for you soon. Thanks for watching.